<laughs> Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. So today uh, I'm going to be talking a little bit about the sort of theme of my nursery and the doll I have with me is kind of related to that theme. Her name is Lyra. She is my uh, Celebration of Life Emmy doll. She's 10 inches. Uh, she's very cute. She's the first doll um, from Ashton Drake that I had, that I ever had. And I, ha I think I've had her coming up a couple of years now, at least. Um, so I've had her for a while. But um, I didn't properly start interacting with her until um i think it was like november december time um december i think december and the reason her, she's named lyra is what ties into why my nursery theme is what it is so around that time the show his dark materials was airing now his dark materials is an adaptation of uh three books there's like a there's Lots of books in the in that kind of universe by the same author, but there's three main ones that were released first, um, and that's what the show is adapting. They have the reason I'm talking about this is because they dropped um, a trailer for the second season, which is the adaptation of the second book. Uh, yesterday is coming out this November, and I'm really really excited for that. Um, and I have spoken about this before. I have spoken about how uh, her name and stuff ties into. Um, his dark materials but I really really wanted to make my nursery more themed on that I guess like I've already got a little bed so I've shown you guys in the, my my bedside nursery video I've already got one like a little theme going on down there with with the books next to it it's like a like a, a golden monkey teddy which is uh the demon of the villain Mrs. Coulter and there's like a little snow leopard te teddy which is the um the demon of Lord Azrael, and there's also like a compass, which is um, an alethiometer, which is something that Lyra uses throughout the, the stories uh, to tell um, her, it, it tells her things, it gives her hints, and it tells her, gives her answers to her questions, and it helps guide her on her journey, essentially. Um, so it, the His Dark Materials world, there's, it's kind of a multiverse, um, world but there's the main world where lyra is from is a world where humans are born with their souls outside of their body in the form of um an animal and when you're a child so when you're born your demon has the ability to um change into whatever animal fits you at that moment so if you're um you know, it, it depends on like your circumstances, it depends on your mood, it depends on like what situation you're in, uh, the people you're around, it could depend on all, all that kind of stuff when you're, um, when you're a child. And then when you hit puberty age and start to become an adult, um, is when your, de your demon starts to settle and, and will not, no longer be able to change form. They will set on one form that represents who you are or who your like path is, um, as a person essentially based on like your personality your preferences um and like your choices and stuff as well it, it basically is a reflection of of you of your like your soul essentially um so I, it's a really really interesting concept it's a really really interesting concept i hope i haven't bored anyone talking about that and like someone thinks it's completely completely strange <laughs> but um it's uh it's a really good concept the books are really good I actually started reading the books because of the tv show so I'm probably a little bit biased maybe against the tv show but I thought the tv show was really good and I know many book readers who read the books before the tv show was ever a thing who also think the tv show is good so it is definitely a definitely a really good adaptation um there was an adaptation of book one in film form called the golden compass but it wasn't that great i'll be honest it's not like the absolute worst thing to sit through but it's not it's nothing compared to the book i'm gonna put that out there and most book fans i i've spoken to agree with me on that like that the tv show is better no, nothing compared to the tv show i meant but it's also nothing compared to the book but the tv show is um it's just the better the better adaptation um and yeah the second season dropped yesterday i'm really excited about the sec the trailer for the second season dropped yesterday um please excuse me i do have i've had a little bit i'm a little bit tired i've had a bit of insomnia recently um but yeah the second uh the trailer for the second season dropped yesterday which was really exciting 
and um i just sort of wanted to make this video today to talk about that and explain you know just in case there was anyone that had missed that and to further explain and to kind of recommend the books and stuff if you want to understand me better as well like as a person because i really really love these books i really love the show as well so i really really really, really recommend the show um obviously i'm not going to force anyone to and um like i'm not going to be judging you if you don't or anything but i just thought it might be interesting to some people to hear um about like sort of the explanation the further explanation of why uh lyra is called lyra why you know why my channel is called lyra's nursery why um sort of why i have the theme that i do as well i'm planning i've actually got a little demon for lyra here uh, this is pantalime and this is not a, thor a form that he takes in the book or in the show but um I, it was something i had and i just thought it was cute so this is pantalime this is her pantalime uh that's lyra's demon's name in the in the show if that wasn't clear sorry i think i didn't think i said that uh, i'm also planning on making my um my nursery even more his dark material scene because i'm planning on getting demons for my other dolls as well for romeo for sherry and for abby um obviously it'll be in soft toy form as well but i just thought it was it would be a cute idea and would, would really really tie into the theme um and i will keep you guys updated on that if i do um and when i do of course so that's it for this one. That's it for this one. Uh, if you too are a fan of His Dark Materials or you'd be interested in checking it out or you do decide to check it out because of because of my explanation of it, uh, let me know. Let me know. Uh, I'd be really interested to hear. And I shall see you, guys, see you all in the next one. Bye.